<laughs> hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Let's turn down the volume on my phone so that we don't get an echo, because that echo. will be really annoying. Echo, echo. echo. Y'all missed jams just totally rocking out behind the scenes. <laughs> and I was so entertained that I thought we would just go live live. Because <laughs> everyone should witness it. Oh, well, not anymore. It's too late. Yeah. The moment late. has passed. <laughs> you shall miss it and long for it. And maybe someday <laughs> you'll get a snippet. <laughs> or you can spend some monocles and do some uh, <laughs> karaoke redemptions, which... I don't remember the last time I turned those on. I probably should turn them, <laughs> turn those reward redemptions on so that people can spend their monocles. Spend your monocles on us. Monocles. 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 And we need gap. to uh, we need to invest in some monocleage merch mm -hmm. that's on that's on the never ending to-do list <laughs> of things that we want to do but don't have time Indeed. <sighs> okay greetings curious crowd and welcome to another curious fights where we discuss what's going on behind the scenes with us share our weekly discoveries and distractions answer some curious cues and more today is tuesday March the 22nd, 2022. I am Rach. That is Jams. Hello. Jams, she's that way. Pew, pew, pew. Finger guns. Pew, pew, pew. Um, and we have Pixel Ronnie and Pixel Jen and Felicity with us. Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Everyone is just more entertained by the cats than... <laughs> by us because we're boring <laughs> fur babies are always 100% more entertaining than us true sadly but we will try I'm a cat I'm a kitty cat um, <laughs> before we get started we just want to send all the positive energy um, towards Ronnie um, she is currently recovering from a surgery she's fine she's doing well but we just want to send all the positive vibes her way and if you are on the twits or the insta and want to send her some love please go ahead and do that so ronnie we miss you and hopefully you are back to 100 percent and with us sooner rather than later because we're unruly without your guidance <laughs> Unruly and extra awkward. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's kick things off with what happened in our Curious Corner. Last Thursday, we welcomed back Bianca to continue our series on women empowerment icons. And if you missed that conversation, we will have that up shortly on our YouTube channel, where you can find all of our previous live podcast episodes. Um, exclamation point YT to get to our channel and if you could please subscribe if you are not subscribed to our youtube channel it would be much appreciated subscriptions over there are free they're not free here but they're free over there so mm -hmm. mm. oh we're actually continuing our look at women empowerment icons um this week we're welcoming back amanda to our stream so after you're done this stream, go check out all of our friends, hang out with them uh, tonight and tomorrow, and then hop back over on Thursday at uh, 5 p.m. And we, we will have another nice live podcast discussion with Amanda. Uh, this past Saturday, we also participated in the AAPI Rise Up for Tonga event in support of the Disasters Pananga Assistance for Citizens of Tonga Fund. Uh, the people of Tonga are still recovering from the catastrophic volcano eruption in January of this year. Um, and so we banded together uh, to help raise some money. Um, day two 
uh, continues this Saturday uh, with DJ Cash's Clay. And if you would like to donate, um, exclamation point Tonga Donate will bring up the link to donate to the GoFundMe. Um, every dollar that's raised will go straight to the people of Tonga. Um, and if you can't make a donation at this time, that's okay. If you can just spread the word, um, every dollar counts. So um, let all of your friends and family in your networks know um, they could use your support. Um, we're also throwing a raffle uh, where for every $10 donated, you are entered in to win one of four Sunes, uh, three of which are one of one customs painted by April, Dave, and JP. And the fourth is a one of 16 Decon exclusive thermal glitter Sunes that is donated by Jace. Um, I have mine somewhere around here. I wish I had it ready so that I could show you again, but it's very, very beautiful. It's like a pretty like aqua color and it's glittery um, and uh, it changes color because it is a thermal Sune um, to purple. So kind of on brand for Nerdy Curious, um, but you have a chance to win one um, for yourself. If you donate uh, $10, you'll get a raffle ticket. So um, exclamation point AAPI raffle will bring up the raffle details. You will need to have a US shipping address and you will need to take a screen cap of your donation receipt and send it to um, Kaz uh, via Twitter or Instagram and all of that information is um, in those commands. And um, exclamation point prizes will bring up the prizes that you could potentially win. Um, so yeah, if you're able to donate, please, please do. It's for a great cause and um, again, day two of the um of the stream will kick off at noon pacific um with kaz and kaz and april i believe are going to be uh painting their one of one sune on stream um and uh kaz is also going to be playing some songs um and uh playing a bunch of games and potentially showing some Pokemon cards? I don't know what TCG stands for, actually. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I don't know what that is. I think it's the card game. Okay. Well, you can you can find out uh, when you join Gaz on Saturday. So I think the deadline to enter the raffle is Sunday evening, and then it's going to be um, drawn during the Average Nerd podcast stream. Um, on Monday. So um, I think any time that you uh, you can donate at any time until that point. And again, every $10 donation, you get a raffle ticket and there's no limit to the raffle ticket. So if you donate 100, you can get 10 tickets and increase your chances on winning. So we actually had a really great time streaming our um, geography challenge and shout out to Cicero and Liz for being our um, geography wizards um, and they won some uh, raffle tickets for the, the Sune draw, so yay. Uh, thank you, M. Mackerson. Trading card game. I knew it was something card related, I just couldn't put two and two together, so thank you very much for the explanation. But yeah, um, that's Saturday. Okie dokies. I'm trying to think if there's anything else on our end that um, I had. We're very sorry. We're very behind on our uh, official podcast. It's on the list. Um, we've all been very, very busy. And so the editing is coming along, but it's not quite done yet. We will have it up. Most likely we'll have two episodes back to back being posted. So you can look forward to that. Um, and we're going to be recording our March episode shortly too. So stay tuned. Oh, I remember what I wanted to talk about. Uh, this Friday, March the 25th at 7 p.m. Pacific, I will be a guest on The Hype, um, hosted by DJB and Maru Daizu. And we will be dressed the nines to talk about the Oscars. So um, please give DJB a follow. That's where we'll be streaming. 
this Friday and yeah, join in the conversation about the Oscars. Okie dokies. I think that is it from our Curious Corner. I think. If something comes up, I will I will mention it. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm very bad at remembering things. That's that's my issue. Um We're walking back or what the duck. Because it's been a particularly ducky week, but this is kind of front and center at the moment, um, because it happened today. Um, Disney employees staged a walkout in solidarity with their LGBTQIA plus cast members in an attempt to pressure Disney to permanently pull funding from supporters of a Florida bill that would prohibit schools from teaching topics relating to sexual orientation and gender. Uh, despite Disney CEO um, speaking during their town hall about inclusion, cast members were also told that um, they were not allowed to wear pride or trans Mickey pins that Disney themselves sell to show support, which is the duckiest of all ducks. Um, and I just wanted to say that Disney, you can do better. And yeah. also the fact that, you know, you can love something and we're big Disney fans here, like massive Disney fans. Uh, we grew up on Disney, um, mm -hmm. but you can love something and still want better from them mm -hmm. and so disney do better that's all jams do you want to add anything yeah i i agree um i mean this is a a company who has gay day in the parks and they have a huge lgbtq following and many of whom happen to be children so I feel like it's, it's not, it's not okay to accept funding from these, the people that are behind this bill. And it, it could be very harmful to these kids who already have a hard time trying to discover who they are and trying to fit in. It's, I don't feel like there should be like an age appropriation on inclusion that's just that's just wrong here here kids should be free to explore who they are as people and people are people and we need to love them for who they are so do better disney um mm -hmm. i've seen a lot of photos of the disney cast members um, during the walkouts and it's absolutely just beautiful to see the type of support um, and just the the love on social media um, it, sometimes when you like talk about these kind of things it's like it, it feels very frustrating that you even have to do something like this to uh, to kind of just raise your voice and you know make a stand but it's also very gratifying to see the amount of support too. So I hope they change their minds and, 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 and pull the funding. But until then, you know, we can show our, our support and hopefully things change. Moving on to our curious queue. Um, so this was tweeted out by the lovely people of Fanexo of Vancouver. And we've talked about this before, but maybe there's like new shows that have now been uh, since canceled too soon. So which TV series ended too soon for you? I mean, the obvious one is Firefly. <laughs> it is pretty obvious I always have this thing about Firefly though in that because it ended so early and abruptly it kind of got to be perfect in that yeah. one season and I'm always curious had 
they've been given a chance to go on longer, would we still have the same affection for it? And I don't think the answer would be yes. But I, I see all those people, all the brown coats wanting, you know, a reboot or, you know, a revival. And I just, it seems like a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, I think it's been too long. And I think because it ended perfectly, there's no reason to revise it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The other series that comes to mind is Freaks and Geeks. I feel like that show ended way too soon. I loved that show. It's 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 definitely one of those like coming of age shows mm -hmm. of its time. I'm trying to think. We we always bring up the same ones. I'm trying to think of more recent ones. Um, because I any time that this question gets brought up, I always default to pushing daisies daisies because i feel like that show did not get enough love while it was on the air um yeah. also leap pace and upset um but like that it just it was colorful and vibrant and quirky and sweet and i wish there was more i'm hoping that one day that there will be like a movie or something mm -hmm. something to just you know tie everything up a little bit and also selfie i don't know if anyone watched selfie yes i loved that show i loved it so much and it just it never caught on and i just it breaks my heart a little bit because karen and john were just adorable in it <laughs> <laughs> i wanted more yeah uh, M. Mackerson says, I liked Agent Carter, which ended after two mm -hmm. seasons. Yeah. Yep. Agreed. Um, the Punisher with uh, John Bernthal. I feel like I wish that we had more of that. And Hannibal ended too soon, I think. And also Limitless. That was such a good show, and it ended way too soon. Who's in the television series? Yeah, the TV it? series was better than the movie. I've in my everyone opinion. that I talked to said that the series was way better. <laughs> but I never I never watched it, so who was in it? I can't remember now. That is a good question. I'm trying to remember and I can't. I know that um, Bradley Cooper revised his re revised his role from the movie to come back for a couple episodes. Oh, he um, did. The, yeah, the main actor of the series was Jake Dorman, Jake McDorman, oh. and Jennifer Carpenter was in it also. Oh, cool! I feel like I need to watch it now. Yeah, I always wonder, like, in the event that some of my favorite shows that got canceled too soon were ever revived, if I would be okay with it. And I don't know. It's a very mm. dicey situation, because usually it's never the same. <laughs> yeah, we hold such nostalgia for things, the way that we remembered them, that if they're not done just right, when they are rebooted, it's just... It almost feels like it ruins it, even if it doesn't actually. <laughs> yeah, you just have to like erase it from your mind from it happening. Okie dokies. So, we're gonna move on to our discoveries and distractions. I believe these were Ronnie's, and um, she shared a TikTok that was done by 90s Kid for Life. <laughs> um... <laughs> And I had to like screen cap it on this particular one because I think every '90s kid can look at this image and hear. I can. Um, I can hear that everything. Image. <laughs> <laughs> I just have like the dial-up tone stuck in my head now, just staring at it. Um, 
but yeah, so there's like it's a it's a little like clip video. There's very iconic advertisements and um, sounds of the '90s, and so very nostalgic. Um, good old dial-up. Yep. And then uh, her other D and D was something that was kind of shared with me um, in the Miss Marvel. Uh, trailer that was dropped and super excited um the trailer looks amazing it has like a whiff of john hughes to it um and i cannot wait also make marvel canadian and that's all i've got to say (laughs) (laughs) there's so many canadian actors amazing canadian actors that are being cast cast in all of the all of the marvels and i'm just like yes bring it on cast all the canadians uh jams did you watch the trailer i haven't watched it yet in fact i didn't even realize that it dropped yeah it's really good you should check it out definitely looking forward to it and it's still you know it's still a bit a bit away but time and stuff it creeps up pretty quickly um so yeah if you haven't seen the miss marvel trail trailer trail that's not what i wanted to say if you haven't seen the trailer go see it uh jimmy jams we have some (laughs) french horror horror such a lovely image (laughs) it is isn't it (laughs) <laughs> it was my google search guys is a mess it's it, yeah it was hard i bet it was hard to find a non-graphic image to use for this <laughs> it's pretty much all of them are um it's all good so it's yeah good. i want to on on the last curious bites i had mentioned that there were quite a few french horror films added to shutter that i was wanting to cross off the list and there were a f- a couple others that I watched, but this one really stood out to me. Um, it was released in 2007, and basically it is about this woman who is at the end of her pregnancy, and another woman breaks into her home and tries to steal her unborn child from her, and it's one of those home invasion movies, and it's like really gory and has a twist and there was an american remake apparently but you know those are never as good as the original (laughs) so if you don't mind gore i really enjoyed this movie well done very 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 gory and disturbing (laughs) i always find american remakes they either try too hard or they don't try hard enough, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. And they oftentimes tame it down, which I don't. I, I guess if you're not into the gore and you want to be able to enjoy the movie without all of that added, then that might be the way to go for you. But something gets lost in translation along the way. Yeah, I find there's also, especially with foreign films being Hollywoodized, that there are certain contextual things or scenes that don't actually work in an American setting. And so a lot of the story usually gets lost in that. Yeah, the same thing happened with Martyrs. The original French film was so good, and the American film just doesn't even come close. That's another great, very highly disturbing, gory French horror film, but if you can stomach it, it's so good. Yeah, the, the it's very Europeans, artistic. The Europeans are dark and artsy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Felicity. <laughs> She's just walking all over the place, walking all over my stuff. <laughs> Living her best cat life. Indeed. 
you also did some painting. Yes, I went over to my best friend's house and normally we do like a girls night get together where we drink wine and eat snacks and watch horror movies, but we decided for once we wanted to get together during the day so that we didn't feel old and tired after and we decided <laughs> to paint. <laughs> so this is my painting. It's like it's a really tree of nice. life going through different phases of the day tonight and I just kind of went with it and this is what I came up with. It's really nice. Was it like a kit or did you just freehand no, everything? Just, yeah, totally freehand. She has like a drawer full of paints and canvases and brushes and stuff because she's a very crafty, artsy person like myself. So, yeah. It's beautiful. I love the colors. Thank you. Thanks. Look at you being all artsy. <laughs> and then moving from artsy to just like anger. Um, <laughs> I, wa I watched Downfall. And ironically and sadly, there was um, recently, yesterday or the day before, um, a plane crash involving a Boeing flight in china and thoughts and prayers to the the people that lost loved ones um they're still investigating that so there's not much i can comment on that but um watching this doc made me just extremely angry um at the level of corporate greed there is in the world and how human lives are really Are, are really just they, they just seem like it doesn't matter to these people and it just I was just really really upset by the end of it but um it was a really well done doc um I'm not a huge fan of the latest string of documentaries that Netflix has been doing on just scam scammers and scams because I don't feel like those people deserve um a platform in any way shape or form i just think they're horrible people and we shouldn't why why are we even like talking about them is my is my um mentality but this was really well done um very emotional difficult to stomach in in, in some places because you just you can see all of the pieces that kind of fell into place that led to um, the tragedies um, involving the 737 MAX planes and it just knowing what happened through watching the news and seeing what was going on behind the scenes it just you know it makes you very angry about capitalism in a lot of ways um, but again it if you can if you can get through it I, I recommend it but you you had, need to be in a specific frame of mind because it's 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 a tough doc to, to get through. Um, and you just feel for these families because Boeing did the absolute minimum um, to protect their pilots, to protect um, the passengers. Just it, the lack of empathy is astounding. Oh, and something to kind of cleanse the palate. Um, Tick Tick Boom released a deleted scene from the movie, which is uh, one of Jams' favorite songs from Tick Tick Boom, Green Green Dress. Um, very short clip. Um, I can see why they cut it, but at the same time, I'm really glad that they decided to release it so that we can see the cuteness in all of its glory. Um, mm -hmm. And the song is a really great song, so... Mm -hmm. uh, anytime we can get more Garfield, uh, I'm I'm all for. And he's just like a big dork <laughs> in this number, <laughs> so. Yep. I love it. Hello, IC Diva. 
Oh, sh I see Diva said that your painting was beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, and I did have a bonus. I'm sure everyone's uh, playing Wordle still, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if it's mm -hmm. like that ship has sailed or if um, people are still into those kind of things. But there's a thing called Hurdle. And basically it plays like a second or two of a song and you have to guess the song. Oh. And uh, super fun. Um, I recently discovered in the last couple of days that there is a BTS specific version of Hurdle. And that <laughs> is really fun because I'm pretty much like ballparking like a one of si one of seven. Yeah, it's it's you have seven guesses. So I'm just like, this is the greatest thing ever. I'm acing this test. This is the only test that I can like ace right now. So I'm going to take the win as a win. But yeah, there's like a million different versions of Hurdle. There's like a million different versions of Wordle. Um, there's, it's fun. I think it's fun. I think it's like exercising your brain in, in, mm -hmm. in a variety of different subjects, which is, which is not a bad thing. Um, but I knew like the wave is eventually going to like taper off because, you know. As it always does. Yeah. Our attention span as as human beings is very 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 limited <laughs> it's a problem um so those are our D D's, and you can find all of them in our shiny newsletter so if you want to subscribe you are more than welcome to it is free i love free things so free is good um Ronnie puts together our our newsletters. We may have a bit of a break from our newsletters. Newsletters. Words. Newsletters. Um, but uh, when Ronnie is back with us, we will we will double up on our on our old D and Ds and get those out to you. We won't send you spam. We do not have time to send you spam. So you will get mm -hmm. this newsletter. And we sometimes run surprise giveaways. So subscribe and all that jazz. Subscription or death. And Jams. Jams also dropped the link to in the chat as well. So yeah. Finally, we have our spotlight shoutouts. Um, I have a couple of shoutouts that I would like to give uh, to the Average Nerd Podcast, Jerem Moriarty and Cassius Clay. Um, they are our... <laughs> I was going to say co-conspirators, but they co-hosted uh, the um, AAPI Rise Up uh, for Tonga event. And a big, 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 big shout out to Kaz and April for doing a lot of the um, organizing and making of the images that we um, used and scheduling and all the, all all of the administrative um aspects of the event so thank you thank you thank you um please give all of those lovely people that i just listed a follow i will drop the shout outs in the chat hopefully i have these spelled correctly because spelling matters and i am not the greatest speller so let's hope that this all works <laughs> so follow the average nerd podcast um follow jr moriarty and of course, follow Kaz. I'm trying to think. There was another shout out that I wanted to do and I can't remember it. So it probably wasn't all that important. <laughs> uh, Jams, do you have any spotlights you would like to shine? I got nothing. Okie dokie. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I feel like I need the staples easy button. <laughs> well, that was easy. Um, yeah, so that's a wrap on Curious Bites. Uh, thanks everyone for joining us. I know it was not our usual day, which means I'm sure a lot of people yesterday were like, where is the Curious Bites stream? Well, Gremlins <laughs> took over and decided that my computer didn't want to work the way it was supposed to so we had to shuffle our schedule around and, and stream today but we will be back on our regular scheduled program 
on Thursday um, for our Nerds Are Us, hopefully. So just send positive vibes to Ronnie and send positive vibes for our, all of our equipment to work. Because that's really annoying when it doesn't quite work the way we want it to. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Any 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 final words before we find someone to raid jams? Anything else? Tacos. Ooh, I could go for some tacos. It is Tuesday. <laughs> it is Tuesday. Now well, let's see. Who can we raid? Ooh, it looks like the Blurred Girl is streaming with a new podcast episode. It's always fun when we can raid someone who is podcasting. Because there's not a lot of us out there. So let's raid things over to the Blurred Girl. If you're not following, please give them a follow. The Blurred Hey, Freddy! <laughs> is that... Is that... Is that Baby Yodes with a taco? Grogu with a taco. That is so cute. Hello, Chris. Look at all the friends in chat. Okay. Um, raid messages. Um, exclamation point... Exclamation something. Raid. <laughs> I am struggling with speaking English today. <laughs> Although that's not that's not a untypical, atypical words. That that's typical. Um, <laughs> oi. Uh, if you are a subscriber, you can copy and paste that first raid message. If you're not, you can copy and paste that second. Hopefully, I'll have a handle of speaking the next time we're here. Um, in the meanwhile. Uh, please remember to join us on Thursday, where we're, we'll be joined by Bianca to talk about a women empowerment icons. Um, until then, please remember to continue wearing your masks. It's important, guys. Please continue wearing your masks. Um, get vaccinated if you can. Get that booster when it's available. Don't be a dick. <laughs> and stay curious. Thank you, everybody. We will see you uh, next time. Bye. 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 Okay, it looks like we can't raid the Blurred Girl. Only accepts raids from friends, no. teammates, and followed channels. Oh, no. No. Sad That's a sauce. That's a poopy. <laughs> That's a poopy. Well, you know what? Let's manually raid over then. Everyone manually raid over. Use the hashtags um, and let them know that it's a manual raid. <laughs> <laughs> I will drop I will drop um, the blurred girl. That's assuming that I did not freeze on my end, because it seems like it did. So yeah, go manually raid over. It's important. Um, why is this not working? <laughs> Hang Gremlins. On. Gremlins. I suspect the Nargles. Okay, let's do it from my end here. So click on that link, right over, share the love, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! For real this time. For real. <laughs>